Hi right, everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Game of Thrones. We're, um, well, trying to please the Queen as, um, Mira, I think, by lying to her. Um, and now we're going to see what happens next. Probably going to get in shit for it. And we've Mira, also made a bit I of a worried. dodgy deal with Tyrion. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. Uh, it's it went well. Intimidating. It went well. Really? That's a relief. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth-born sons. Ah, yep. Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Okay, put, put it, it back. back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie could make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although maybe being a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Probably quite shit, to be honest. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? He does have a certain look about him, and he's always treated Lady Marjorie well, which <clears throat> is more than you can say for his mother. I don't want to be queen, no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen. You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Funny. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match! Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Well? I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was... Pleased by your display, Mira. Good. I'm just glad it's over. Then we succeeded. King's landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Um, yeah, she's right. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. Okay, now it's time to tell her. We've got to ask her for help. I... I did have a favour to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Okay, we'll let her stay. Go on. Um, Ask. My mother needs our help. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She thought... 
If a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the Crown, I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise, but my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. Yes, it is. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. Do it, do it. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... You're adored by the king. Don't let the queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot... Yeah! Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. We did it. We did it, guys. Hopefully it works. We'll see, though, won't we? <laughs> Probably won't. King's Road, Wolfswood. Okay, we're on our way to the wall. What the hell is that? <laughs> Oh, great, we've lost our horse. Seven hells. Who are these guys and what are they doing? Let's play a little game, shall oh, we? Oh shit. Look who it is. My ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. Shit. Let's hide. Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. Oh, shit. But he didn't make it easy. <laughs> oh, he always saw us, I think. Bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was oh, that? Shit, we better hide. Ah, oh, we trod in a stick or something. Shh, listen. There. Hear that? I know I hear something. We're gonna stay still. Never mind. Yes, <laughs> thank fuck We've for that. We've wasted enough time already. <laughs> I was worried for a second. Well, at least we didn't get detected. Alright, now if these guys all fuck off, then maybe we can uh, go and investigate this little campsite before heading off to the wall. I would probably have waited a little bit longer myself just to make sure they weren't doubling back round. Because this guy might still be alive, and he might scream as well. Which will make them come back. Bloody hell! Oh shit! Taking all his skin off. Jeez, that's a bit <laughs> gruesome, isn't it? Wow.
Okay, back Lord to Ethan. Ethan. Jumps around characters quite saying, a lot, doesn't it? You are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. Why are you telling me this? Courageous in battle. Why are you telling me this? To help you rule, Lord Ethan. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Let me guess, you want to be the sentinel, right? Well, it's not going to be that guy, that is for sure. He's tough and everything, but he's, um... Bit volatile. And violent as well. Lord Ethan. Why did you kick him? Why did you kick this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! Okay, there'll be none of that descent here. Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Eric, how dare you? Two shields and three spears. Uh, why did you do it? Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor Slapped. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Together we'll survive. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. So you're kicking him. As Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. We'll send him to the wall. <laughs> send everyone to the wall. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Gonna send him to the wall. I sentence you to the wall, where you will join the Night's Watch. No, oh, please, my lord! My Get to the wall! They'll die. <laughs> we'll feed your family, go to the wall. No. Fuck off to the wall with you. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right? Mister, what do you think? Me? Yes. Did I do what's right? The wall seems like a fitting place for a thief. I only hope he doesn't find Garrett there and take his anger out on the poor squire. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing I could wisdom. choose you. And I'm sure you think you'd be the perfect choice. Me? Oh, gods, no. I can't get involved. 
I am a maester. At the Citadel, I swore an oath to serve as such. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Okay. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I think we're going to hire the uncle rather than Sir Royland, because he's a bit of a hothead. We don't really want that. Let's talk to them both and see what they offer as Sentinel. Okay. Right, let's maste up whatever his face is. Where the hell did Thingy go? Hey, who's that? Oh, it's Ryan. Where'd he go? Sir Royland's over here, right? Alright, let's talk to Sir Royland. Sword up! Swing left! Parry! Wrong! I did no Sir dogs Royland. can hold swords! Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make. And I wanted your advice. How are our defences? What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Not unless they want to go to the wall, they won't. They can fuck off to the wall, the lot of them. Right, Duncan. Here he is. Duncan! Duncan. Time yes, to chat. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Uh, I'm going to ask him about sentinels. I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a Would decision. Would you consider it? Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Royland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Okay, we're going to make Duncan the Sentinel. Who knows if that's the right decision. Right, let's go and talk to the Maester. Maester, yes. it's time. Yes, Lord Ethan. Are you prepared to name your Sentinel? I am. What, what is, is your it perspective? What are you doing over here? Admiring the Ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. How much do we have? How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Okay. My lord, we may have to give are him you now some ready of the wood. to name your sentinel? Yes. yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Good. You do that. Time to summon the small council. And decide who's going to be sentinel. Even though I've already decided it's going to be Duncan. Because Duncan has a calmer approach. Which I think will be needed. He 
You may all sit. You may sit. <laughs> I believe Predicted Lord that Ethan one. has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. There is no shame in losing. You are both Uncle. worthy. Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Duncan, Duncan Tuttle, welcome aboard. You will be my sentinel. Tuttle, this, this is reckless. Lord Shut Eaton up. has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. Don't There's panic. no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsey must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the Stop bickering! Council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy that is correct. can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Gentlemen, calm yourselves. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. What do Mother, you recommend? What do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Okay. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! She's arguing. We will use diplomacy. My sentinel favours a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his Okay, decision. we're going to have to swear our allegiance to Ramsay. Forgive us, my lord. Even though we really we don't want to. of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make no, no, wait. that's too aggressive. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will invite him I in. I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit, Sit yourself down. down. At once. Now. Bitch. <laughs> Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. We've offered the ironwood to 
Cersei and Tyrion anyway, so we can't offer it to Ramsay. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I know. I'm not doubting you. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Yeah. Yes. I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said, Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your oh. father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. Well, bring you him back, then. many fine qualities. But he is Asher a bit dangerous, is dangerous though. and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. That's a true, true story. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Okay, Malcolm, go Fine. to Essos. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Get Asher and bring him back here. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Hopefully so. I guess we'll find out. Something tells me it won't be that straightforward, though. Okay then, guys, we're going to have to leave it there. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out with Ramsey on his way. And Mira trying to gain uh, Marjorie's help. So, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video click that like button make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new and i'll see you all in the next one for more game of thrones